A community turned into a raging river. I just seen the water level all the way up to a level I never seen in my life. The water was rushing this way and the entirety of the uh, underpass was completely filled with water. It all happened early this morning during the heart of the storm. Public Works is still trying to figure out what triggered all of this flooding, whether a creek jumped its banks or if this was all just a freak accident. My yard and all our backyard was completely but still sunk in with water. When the sheriff's office arrived, deputies found two submerged cars under the bridge. One of them had a person standing on its roof. They managed to rescue that person, but things took a turn for the worse as they tried to get to the second car. They attempted a rescue in that vehicle. They attempted to gain access in that vehicle. However, the conditions changed rapidly becoming too dangerous for first responders. The water was rising rapidly and they had to retreat for their own safety. Once it was safe to go back in, crews quickly pumped the water out, finding two bodies in the second car. Neither person has been identified yet. It's, it's a good chance that it's one of our community members here and it's, it's, it's absolutely terrible. This is just one of several areas of Millbrae that saw flooding. Multiple streets turned into ponds and the storm system isn't done yet. Tonight, the water has been cleared out, but as the investigation continues, neighbors are talking to neighbors to make sure everyone's okay. And the city is asking drivers to make sure they don't drive through standing water. In Millbrae, Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.